If they lose my stuff, I'm gonna freak. Can you see me? I look awesome. Okay, this is the third time I'm trying to film this video. Cover up my vagina so you don't see it. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Cool. And um, however this one turns out is what you're gonna get. So hope it's good. I really hope it's good. So today I am going to show you how I pack for my trips. I'm going on a work trip to Orlando for five days in two days. So I'm not quite ready. <laughs> I have been packing for like a month, maybe a month and a half to get to the point that I'm at now and I still have a lot of packing that I have to do today. So, yay. Right now, we're in my spare bedroom in my house and this is all the stuff that I'm packing on the plane with me. Then there's a whole nother bag and we're gonna do all of that today. So, I guess let's get into it. I, I don't know. Let's just do this, I guess. Uh, are you freaking kidding me? My camera battery is dying. Ugh. So this is the first bag that I'm gonna be taking with me. It is the Crozer Travel Backpack and um, it has a little phone charger that connects to the side here. It has one front pocket and then two side pockets. It's also got this really cute strap so you can carry it like it's a purse. Um, so you don't really have to worry about it getting too heavy on your back and then it unbuttons and then it opens up like a doctor bag. So pops open and you can see all the way down inside it so that whenever I'm sitting on the plane, I just can reach down in there and grab shit out. Um, the only thing that I have in here right now is a portable charger for my cell phone. It is fully charged, but I'll probably charge it again before we leave. Don't know where I got this, but I have it. As I show you through things, I'm just gonna put them in my bag and then I'll show you what the bag looks like when I'm done. Cool. The first thing, <laughs> the first thing that's gonna be going in my bag is my laptop. This is a MacBook Pro from 2010, so it's ginormous and it's super heavy. I will also have my work laptop and I think that's gonna be the one that I actually bring with me so that I don't have to lug this giant thing around on my back and so that I can actually get some work done. The next thing that I have in here is gonna be just a little eye mask. I got this in a cause box. I don't think that I'll probably end up using this, but just in case, if I feel like I'm getting tired on the plane, I can just pop it on, be really quick and easy, and yeah. This wonderful little bag of tricks has all of my sheet masks. I have lip mask, eye masks, face masks, and I have my toothbrush in here. I also have some wet ones and some Kleenex toilet wipes because you never know when you're gonna need some wet wipes for your bum bum. So yeah, that's gonna go in the same side pocket with the eye mask. The next thing that I'm gonna bring with me is some Kleenex wipes. These are a little travel size. They fold in half but you can open it up and then you've got all your little tissues in there and then it sticks right back together and it's good to go. The last thing that's gonna go in that same pocket are these Purell wipes. The second that I get on the plane, I'm just gonna wipe my seat down, wipe my tray table down, my armrest, everything, and then I wipe off my hands because planes are nasty and they don't ever get cleaned, so I wanna make sure that I don't absolutely die on this trip. Let's get into the front pocket of my bag. I just have are you serious? Is that the trash truck? Well, this is probably out of focus, but this is my travel wallet. I don't have the stuff in here that I need quite yet, but I need my ID, my AAA card, any gift cards that I have that I can use for food or um, maybe go to Target. And then I'll have some money in here. And that's really it. I have my passport card in here as well. So I will use that in lieu of a passport on this trip if for whatever reason I may need it. So the next things that I'm gonna be putting in that front pocket are some Altoid mints that are in the mini size and some rescue pastels. These are for my anxiety. They work great. I got them on Amazon. I'm gonna link them below for you. I cannot travel without these two things. 
You probably can't see this, but this is the last thing that I'm gonna be bringing. This is my inhaler. I don't know if I'll need it, but if I do, I will have it on hand. There we go, look at you. I'll have it on hand um, just to grab really quick and take a puff. Can you focus? Like, why is it not focusing? All right, so the next little bag that I have in here is gonna be on the inside of my bag, and this is just for emergencies, but in here I have some cough drops and some tea bags. I don't take the hot water from the flight crew. I just put this in my regular water bottle and I let the tea steep in just regular water and drink it that way because I do not want to drink recycled nasty water. The next thing that I have in here are some blue light glasses. These are from Key Australia. I'll go ahead and link them below for you, but I usually cannot look at any kind of screens or my cell phone or anything like that without some blue light glasses because I get really bad migraines and I do really find that these help. I highly suggest these if you're gonna work on the plane or if you work on computers a lot. And the next small thing that I have in here, this is my little mini tripod for my camera. It's way out of focus, but you get the drift. I'm just gonna bring this instead of my large tripod because it's a little bit more convenient for me and it's a lot less like a pain in the ass to carry around with you. It gets the job done. Nothing fancy, got it on Amazon. I'll link it below for you. The next major thing in this bag are my Bose Quiet Comfort headphones. I am so excited to travel with these. I have never traveled with them before because I just got them, but I have these in silver. And over on this side, I have some extra charge cords, the actual charge cord for this, and an extra pair of just plain headphones. And I have a gear tie on those just to kind of keep them organized and put together so I don't have a jumbled mess whenever I'm just trying to listen to some music. The next little container that I have right here is my jewelry box. It's out of focus again, but I just don't care anymore. And when you open it up, I have all of my like emergency must have jewelry. I've got my Michael Kors watch right here. I have some bracelets and a couple pairs of earrings, one from Nico and one that was my great grandmother's. So I don't go anywhere without this little box of jewelry. The next thing in here is my makeup bag. This is all of my powder makeup and I have like a scrunchie in here too. Um, so I've got everything in here that I'll be using on my trip as far as powder makeup goes. And then I have all of my liquid makeup actually in my checked luggage. So I got all mini sizes and I did a video on this. So if you would like to see everything that's in this bag, then I will link that video down below for you. Okay, moving on with more blurry products. This is my bag with all of my makeup brushes and some extra hair tools. I also have a couple sponges in here. I still have some brushes that I need to wash and put in here, but I carry all of my brushes with me because I do not want them to get damaged on the plane or lost in my check luggage because I do spend quite a bit of money on my makeup brushes. So that's gonna go in my backpack as well. The last thing that's gonna go in my backpack is this wonderful little container. I got this in a Sol de Janeiro kit and I will link that down below for you. But in here I've got some moisturizer. I have two other little pots of moisturizer right here that are a little thicker. I have an eye cream. Dramamine, have to have this on every single flight. I have a Jouer Lip Enhancer um, lip balm and then I have another Laneige lip balm back in there. I've got some eye drops in here. But on the back, I have a Purell hand sanitizer and Evian spray in case my face gets too dry. I have some dry shampoo and some deodorant in a travel size and all of that is my emergency must have skincare and travel care for every single flight. On the outside of my bag, I'm gonna have this water bottle. I got it from Target. I'm also gonna be bringing a metal straw because I don't want to kill any more turtles than have already been killed by these awful things. So um, I'm just gonna bring this empty and then whenever I get through security, I will, I feel like freaking Hermione, like what is this? I will fill this thing up and um, pop it in my bag and be good to go. And the last thing that is going with my backpack is going to be my travel pillow. This is from Kabo and it does have a little slot right here for your phone. 
I don't think this is big enough for a phone. I think it's big enough for maybe like one of the original iPods. I don't really use it for anything, but it's so big um, that it keeps my head just upright and I don't have to worry about having a crooked neck whenever I wake up. I really, really love this thing. It's memory foam and just super, super comfortable to wear on the airplane. Okay, so now you can see everything is in my bag. I've even got my giant MacBook in there, even though I'm gonna have a much smaller laptop. So let me zip that up. And there we go. That's my whole backpack that I'm gonna be bringing. Oh my God, it's heavy. Now we are going to shift over to all of this wonderful stuff. And I'm gonna take you through my carry-on item, my little personal item right here. This is my personal item. This is the Weekender from Base. It's Shea Mitchell's travel line. And so far I really like the bag. I even got a little luggage tag for it just in case I'm an idiot and I put it down somewhere and forget to pick it up, please God, don't let me lose it. So this is the same thing. It opens up like a doctor bag so that you can just reach down in there, grab whatever you need. There's a lot of great pockets. There's even a zipper pocket in here and there is a laptop pocket that will hold a 15 inch laptop. It's a really good bag. I do wish the lining was maybe a different color, but that's just me being picky. So the first thing that's gonna go in here are my hair tools. I have my Dyson hair dryer, my hot tools, extra long curling wand, and I'm gonna put them in this travel little packing cube. And then I'm also gonna put my hairbrush and my comb in there. I need those for a couple days. So um, I'm gonna use those and then I'll pack them before I leave. But this will be the first thing that goes into this bag. The next bag that's gonna go in there is actually from Ulta. Um, I have all of my tech accessories in here. I'm gonna link this bag down below for you just so you can check it out, see if it's something that might work for you. But I have all of my battery chargers in here. I'm also gonna have a couple external battery chargers. I have an extra cable cord for my laptop and then I have all of my chargers for like my cell phone and then I have some cords for my external microphone and stuff like that for me to use while I'm working at the conference. Um, but this just holds all of my little small tech accessories that I wanna keep in one place and not just spread out everywhere. This bag is my emergency kit, my little first aid kit kind of. So I've got some extra dry shampoo, I have a fingernail file, I have some tampons, I have cotton buds. So I have these uni shower sheets. They're really good to just freshen up after the plane. I have a two plane flight to Orlando. So once we stop and have a little layover, oh, once we stop and have a little layover, I will freshen up a little bit. And then I have extra medicine, Benadryl, um, I have some Advil, things like that all in here. Um, so this is just my emergency travel kit and this bag is from a Sephora kit. So I'll make sure to link it down below as well if they still have it. This next little bag is actually another tech bag. It has my light for my camera um, that I'm gonna be carrying around with me on a gimbal and then my gimbal adapter, my microphone and my light both latched to it. And um, then I have like a all-in-one system for social media. This is the next bag that's gonna be going in my weekender. This is a bag that my boss actually just got me from Hawaii. It's from, it says local design handmade in Hawaii. So um, I don't know if you can get these anywhere, but she went to Maui, so I'm sure you can find them somewhere. But this has all of my jewelry that I'll be taking on my trip that's not my like, ride or die jewelry that I must have. Um, I just have a couple little jewelry bags in here and then I have like the little plastic bags that some of the jewelry came in. So these are just some fun earrings, things to spice up a few of my outfits that may be a little bit more plain, um, just to make me feel like I'm on a little bit more than a work trip. This is the next thing that's gonna go in my bag. This is my DSLR camera. Um, and this case is from USA Gear and it has a little zipper pocket back here and I have some SD cards. You can't see anything because it's blurry, but this is where I will keep all my SD cards once I am done using them, uploading footage, whatever. Um, so I'll link this case down below for you too. This is a, another little travel container. This is my Rode, I think it's like called the Go Mic. I'm not 100% sure, 
but this is just a little case I got off of Amazon to hold my microphone, keep it safe while I'm traveling and keep it from getting broken because they are super, super, super fragile. Another thing that I'm bringing are these business cards from Canva. I actually designed them and then had them printed through Canva but it just says Twinkle Star Dance on the front and then on the back it says to follow us on Instagram and then it has our Instagram handle at Twinkle Star Dance and then it says hashtag embrace your magic because that's kind of the theme for this year. If you don't know what that is, go ahead and check us out. One of the last but most important things that I'm bringing is my, um, it's not really wireless, but my phone charges wirelessly. So this is just a charging dock for my phone and it's a fast charging dock. So I can put my phone, just sit it on there. Oh, kind of like this. I have to take it out of the case, but I set my phone on there like that and then it will charge almost immediately once it's actually plugged up. So I really love this thing. I can't really go anywhere without it. And I got this off of Amazon as well. So these are the next couple things that I'm bringing. I'm bringing a pair of fuzzy socks because I cannot travel without fuzzy socks. And then I'm also bringing my fuzzy slippers because planes are disgusting. People throw up on planes. People actually pee on the floor sometimes. So, um, I like to take my shoes off, but I still want to keep myself safe. So I bring slippers on the plane with me and I'm just gonna put them in this little bag from Bayes and it's just a shoe bag and I'm just gonna put them in here and throw them into this bag. And the last thing that I'm gonna be bringing with me is my Jeffree Star mirror. This is what I'll be using to do all of my makeup. Generally, a standalone mirror is the best, but I don't have room for my Ikea one and that's really the only one that I love other than this. So I am totally fine with doing my makeup in a handheld mirror and the bathroom is gonna have a mirror I can set up and just do my makeup there too. So this bag is looking a little sad, as you can see, because there's nothing in the bottom of it. So let's pack the bottom of this bag now with some of the stuff over here. So these are kind of dirty, but these are the shoes that I'm gonna be taking with me to Orlando. So I've just got two pairs of mules and a pair of sandals, and I pack all of my shoes in little bags. This bag is part of a packing cube set that I bought specifically for this trip, just because it's yellow and it's super cute. Um, so I'm gonna put all of these in here and then put them into this bag. I'm also gonna be bringing um, some extra just travel clothes just to be safe. One of these outfits I may end up wearing on the plane, but I'll just have to wait and see. But these are just in case my luggage gets lost. I have backups of everything. I've got backup socks, backup underwear, shirts, bras, and leggings. and that all went into a little packing cube as well. The last thing that I have is my pair of NMDs. Nico got me these for my birthday. I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing these on the plane or if I'm gonna pack them into this bag, but for right now, I'm gonna put them in the bag and we'll see what happens. <sighs> oh, okay, there we go. That's the weekender packed. So I think I just made a decision that I might regret but who knows, it might be the best decision I've ever made. So these are the bags that I'm bringing. <laughs> oh my God. I'm the kind of person that travels carry on only, like only carry on. That means only one personal item and one suitcase. It's usually, it's usually this suitcase, honestly, but I just bought this one because I was like, oh, I'm going on a big work trip. Let me treat myself, feel like an adult. Yeah, okay. I'm going to be bringing both of these suitcases. This one was from TJ Maxx and M by Mia Toro. I don't know anything about this luggage except for it's really cute and it actually is a really good piece of luggage. This one is from Base. Again, Shay Mitchell's line, same luggage tag, same information on it. I've got a few stickers on here. It's a great bag. I was gonna buy the Away bag and um, this one was cheaper and had almost all of the same features. So I didn't see the point in spending that extra money if I really didn't have to. But now, since we're flying with Southwest, it's really not that big of a deal for me to bring two bags because you get two free check bags. I just don't want them to lose my stuff. <laughs> that is my biggest concern. So I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing. I'm gonna pack it all into these two bags. 
probably take some stuff out of my weekender because that thing is freaking heavy now. We're just gonna make it all work and I'm just gonna have to deal with it. If they lose my stuff, I've got name tags on things. I need to get one for this one though. So um, I will make one of those. And uh, yeah, so let's get into the second half of this long ass video. Why do I do this for myself? Okay, so you can see I have everything spread out on my bed. So right here, I have all of my outfits. I have my work outfits, my play outfits, and my pajamas and travel outfits right there. And then I have a cute little purse that I got from, I wanna say it was Cosbox, and then same thing with the scarf, that is from Cosbox as well. I have my travel steamer and mitt in there. And then I have a wrinkle releaser right next to it. Let me see if I can use my arm as a pointer without showing you my nipples through my shirt. Yeah, probably not. Um, then above that, I have my bras and my underwear. And then the back one is my Spanx. Yes, that whole thing is full of Spanx. I need a lot of them. I sweat. These two bags right there are full of sandals and heels. Um, then I have my loofah, my razor, a travel um, fan thing right over there, all the way over there. I have my face halo set, and then I have my liquids bag, my dop kit, and then I have my liquid makeup bag. I am going to pack all of this stuff into these two suitcases that I have here. I want to do a separate video on what I'm bringing. I probably won't get to it before I leave, but maybe after I get back, I can show you maybe like a plus size summer lookbook. So let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. All of these outfits that I'm taking are really good vacation outfits. Um, I have some relaxed daytime stuff. I have some more dressy evening stuff. Um, if you are going on a business trip, all of these outfits would definitely fit in there. So let me know what you wanna see. I'll probably do an Instagram poll. I'll probably do it even if you don't say anything about it, um, just because I have been really bad at doing this lately. So let me pack and I will check back with you in like probably two seconds. Um, I ended up moving a couple things around, but for now, this is gonna work, I think. I just need to learn to be a little bit more flexible. Um, I still have a lot of stuff that I need to pack. I don't have any more outfits that I need to pack, but I do need to pack more underwear. I have um, my some external chargers that I need to pack. I have to still pack um, a whole laptop and the charging information charging information what all the chargers and everything for that i also need to pack my um power strip i've got to have that i can't go anywhere without that so there is still quite a bit to pack but now that i have extra room in my weekender my weekender it's going to make my life much easier i am still going to bring one change of clothes in my weekender just to be safe because you never know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long for you to not watch. Um, I know that I can binge watch these packing videos for hours and hours, so I hope that you could do the same. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna link everything that I can find down below in the description box so you can try and buy these things because they have made my life a lot easier when it comes to packing. Though it may not look like it, I think that I am just over organized and I think way too much when it comes to packing and I also have severe anxiety about flying and my baggage getting lost because it seems to happen every single day. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my God, can it be over? If they lose my stuff, I'm gonna freak. Crushed it.